Um. Good afternoon. How's everybody doing? Can you hear us? Can you see us? All that good stuff. Hopefully we're not too wiggly. I'm coming. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. We're driving. I'm driving. Maddie's watching the ads. <laughs> good Making us some money. <laughs> She's going to read questions for me, but uh, hopefully everybody can hear us. All that. You can't see it, yeah. Can you see the stream? Oh, there we go. There's 19 people on here. Wow. 13 people have liked it. There's a comment. Talk about see it. Live chat. Hello. Hello from Mo. Loud and clear. Good. Hello from Trinidad. Wow. Trinidad. Iowa. How long is a trip from home? Hello <laughs> from Worcester. Uh, it's, it's a little ways. Yeah, depends on how we go, but. Hi there from Richmond, Virginia, Australia, Lubbock, Texas. Is that Texan, Texas A&M that's there? Texas no. Tech is in Texas Lubbock. Texas Tech. That's right, I should have that. Washington State. Indiana. Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. Aberdeen, Scotland. Scotland, there you go. Fulton County. You're close. Where are we headed? To a wedding. My cousin's getting married today. So we're heading to that. Hamilton, New Zealand. North Bay, Ontario. Oh, you got a super chat from David Ruff Jr. Thanks, David. To remove the stickers off the semi, use a heat gun. And for residue, use Gooby Gone Gel. I, uh, Is that Goo Gone? Yeah, I've gotten the, um, the heat gun comment and hair dryer lots and lots on today's video. So... We'll try that on Monday. We'll get the heat gun out. I think I've got a plastic scraper around that I can use to try and scrape them a little bit. And then uh, if I need to, we'll buy one of those rubber wheels for a drill or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'm sure it won't be that hard. Will there be some setup with the new cameras on the concrete? Uh, you know, I don't know. That was one thing I didn't try was to actually pull them up on the display and look at them. So. Uh, hopefully sometime this week we'll get the combine up to Jonesville or to our dealers to look at um, but other stuff and if I remember we'll try and look at it there but I think it everything was already there and ready to go all we had to do is plug them in and it should be good to go so as far as I know uh, no there should not be any setup hi from North Carolina hope you're driving a board well we're not close. it's close we're too bougie for that <laughs> Go green. Go white. Is that Al? Uh, it is Al. Hello from Gilt Edge, Tennessee. Oh. Oh, someone says they want to see some footage of you on the dance floor. No, you don't. <laughs> Maybe we can get him wrapping some ice ice, baby. They don't know I do that. But he knows the whole song. They every single word. They don't know that. It's more impressive than his dance skills. <laughs> His family enjoys some polka dancing. Oh yeah, they had, I'm like, sure there will be some YouTube polka uh, tutorials that we were recommended to do before, but he was not up for it. So. Before this wedding? Yes, I told you that the other night. Oh no, I'm out. Oh come on, where's your sense of adventure? I'm out. Tell me about the transmission on the new Volvo. How many gears? It's a 12-speed uh, I shift. So it's a, a automated manual transmission. So it is not an automatic. A lot of people confuse that. They think that uh, these semi trucks have automatic transmissions in them. Almost none do. There are a few Allisons and some heavy duty trucks, but very, very few. They're actually an automated manual transmission. Um, our Cascadia has a three pedal auto shift, which means you still have to control the clutch. 
Uh, most of them now in the I shift and on the Volvo included are uh, two pedal where it is uh, automated clutch control as well. So it drives very similar to an automatic, but in the way that it functions and works, it is, it is a manual transmission. Hello from Illinois. I'm enjoying your videos. Thank Love you. the great work. Birch Run, Michigan. Good shopping there. <laughs> Hello from Kentucky, mid-Michigan. No kids. Nice. Hope you enjoy the wedding. Yep. No kids today. They get to stay with my parents. Should be a good time. I told them we'd pick them up next week. Thursday, Friday. Monday. <laughs> from now. Then we would miss Christmas. Let them do Christmas. That'd be fine. Uh, yeah. Uh, changing your oil so early, don't you think you will get condensation in your oil? tractors and stuff no i don't worry about that at all but any condensation that may get in there is going to boil out right away anyway i know never been an issue um i've kind of had the thought process of i should probably keep the fuel tanks full to reduce the condensation in the oil or uh, water in the fuel but even that doesn't always happen so um not a concern that i've ever ever worried about or had any issues with no took them long enough to get you the cameras it took them long enough yes so I, I think I told you guys the whole backstory on that that I found out when they brought them to me um, and we ordered this combine brand new with the cameras with that combine advisor package and uh, deer could not procure them they, they did not ship any combines last fall with the com with the cameras in them uh, they were not available would add them when we when they could get them right and so i waited and we waited and we waited and i was hoping to get them before weed harvest that did not happen i was hoping to get them before fall harvest that did not happen i bugged the dealer throughout the fall a lot of that due to you guys telling me hey this guy got his or i got mine or whatever and i'm thinking well why is everybody else getting theirs and i'm not and i don't want to bugging and kept bugging and finally got to the point where i was like well just give me my money back and um and they were about ready to do that, but then they said, well, we found a dealer in Canada that's got a set of the cameras and they're gonna ship them to us. Would you rather wait for them? All right, fine. Uh, so I did that, that was the end of October. I still didn't get them until the first or second week of December here. And uh, first week of December, I guess. And you know, it was after this year's harvest and everything, which is it, it's frustrating, but not the end of the world. Well, when they brought them out to me, I found out that shortly after we got our combine a year ago and they brought it to us, um, Deer refunded the dealer the option price for the cameras. They refunded the, 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 that price to our That's Deer nice. dealer. I did not know that. My salesman did not know that. The, the leadership of the dealership knew it at a different location or something, but they never passed that along to my location, my salesman or anything. So come to find out my cameras were never coming. I complained about it. I'm a, I'm a little ticked about that. That's, and it's not my. Um, we are driving it on the road. I have now cell service is going to be here, especially with the new cell phone company. So. It says we, we have 5G E. What's E? I have no idea, but it just reconnected for a second. So. Okay. Are you going to be okay driving that long? I know how you hate doing repetitive things. <laughs> well, I am until we get in the city. I hate driving in cities. In which case, I'll drive, but whatever. I'll make it. I just hate it. Congrats on your second place in your contest. That Thank is you. phenomenal. I was pretty excited about that. I did not expect it, but that was awesome. Hello from Argentina. Hello. Hey. Put the camera on the wrong side. I'm sorry I'm not looking at the camera. It's a, the camera's on her side of the phone. Not, yeah, yeah I'm not looking it's kind of weird. So. Taylor's laughing at our kids' comments. I love grandparents, ice cream, and snacks before bed. Well, our kids Whatever. yesterday had a lot of sugar for Ryland's birthday. That's true. And they were a little crazy. Okay, not sure if you watched the show, but your contest entries beat most of the Corn Warriors. Congrats, TV Future. Oh, yes, let's be on a reality TV. <laughs> Some days it'd be nice to have my own film crew. Oh my goodness. Make things a whole lot easier. 
hello from Vickery, Ohio. Don't know where that is. I don't either. Enlighten us. Vickery? Mount Victory. Vickery. V I C K E R Y. Okay. Do you own any personal farm ground? Uh, yes, kind of. We're not going to dig too deep into that, but personally, my wife and I, the only stuff that we have that's only in our name is where our house sits. We have a whole five acres there. So Which I'm not in, even anymore. <laughs> Well, it's still five acres, but part of it's building. I've been trying or looking around at buying a farm personally, trying to break into that, but I am a, a, a part owner. I own stock in our land holding entities, which are separate from Borderview Farms. It's We've got a pretty complicated setup, but it works really well. Um, so yes, I do own farmland, but not a lot on my own. Yes, on the auditor's side, it's just you. Well, that's because I bought it before we were married. Yeah, I know. Don't go digging into stuff. <laughs> Don't be digging. Do you own any personal farm ground? Oh, I just answered that. that. <laughs> Greetings from Florida. Sure enjoyed the crop season videos. Looking forward to the 23 season. Good. Crops look fantastic this year. Enjoy the time away from the farm. He doesn't like to be away from the farm. Don't let him kid you. We got some stuff planned. Don't worry. We got, we got some. You're going to win the yield contest next year, Nathan. I don't know that I am. So here's the thing right with next year. I won't have any irrigated corn. Or I'm highly unlikely to have any irrigated corn. Because the field that we irrigate normally is going to beans. Um, we could irrigate elsewhere, but most of those fields are also going to beans or wheat. Um, so I, I've got an option or two that we could look into. Um, but about? we're going to have some dry land entries. And, and our, for me, dryland entries are totally dependent on rainfall. If it rains next summer, we'll have good good stuff for a corn growers contest. If it doesn't, I'm not going to stand a chance. The one year when we started dating, you irrigated a soybean field. I had, yeah, and I would Could consider that be, doing that again. That, too. Be corn? Uh, that field. Do you remember field? which field that was? I do not. I feel like it was on. We've done a couple. Unlikely in center road there? Maybe is it on the left hand side of the road? The west side of the road? Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to figure out which way. Yes. Okay. That, that, was, that field's going to beans. That's going to be beans too. Yeah. Alright. Um, how many potatoes are grown down in your area? So directly in our area there's hardly any potatoes. or none. Uh, you go east of us and there's there's a few. You go west of us, and there's a lot, especially west, southwest side of Michigan. There's a, a whole lot of potatoes going over there. Um, you may have caught the video or two this fall when I talked about the trucks running up and down the road. Um, there is an outfit that, that raises a lot of potatoes west of us over around Sturgis, Michigan, Bronson, uh, north into that area. But they have massive warehouses over in Monroe, Michigan, which is east of us. And so they take the road. Um, a lot of our fields are on to get back and forth and dozens of potato trucks every day when they're digging. So that was Randy who lives by Birch Run and they grow potatoes there you said but gotcha. they have light soil. Yeah yeah we don't where we're at which is why there's no potatoes. How's the wheat looking? Wheat looks pretty good uh, much much better than we were a year ago at this time because we were so wet last fall. Uh, it's a little smaller than I would have liked going into winter because we were so dry this fall but we could have used some rain to get the wheat growing and off to a better start. That said, our stand is phenomenal. We don't have any drowned out spots. We're in really good shape. We just, it's just, it's just a little bit smaller than I would like, but that's really not a problem. It'll be fine. We'll see what the spring brings. We'll probably get some big rains that'll have some drowned out spots and stuff, but uh, if we can get the nitrogen on maybe a little bit earlier than we would normally and get that wheat growing, we have potential for a really good wheat growing. Your mom wants to go. Mom can polka. <laughs> I believe Dad knows how. I don't. So I bet not, if no you interest. have enough alcohol, we could get you out there. Mm, probably not for polka. Oh, come on. Just try it. <sighs> Baker weddings are fun. Yeah, yeah. I'll see what I can do. All right. Next time, get a Peterbilt or a Kenworth. Ha ha. Yeah. Any plans to own any tractors or combines other than John Deere? Yeah, right. Not really. And it's not that I'm totally opposed to them. It's that I, our John Deere dealer is phenomenal. And I know I just complained about them, but I have three John Deere dealers that I would go to before the first competitive brand or that I feel like would treat 
treat me like a real paying customer. I've tried doing some business with some of the competitive brands, not just the red ones, other brand as well. And I've never gotten, had a great experience with those dealerships. If they put some effort into trying, it's going to take a lot, but I am not opposed to it. Uh, if I had a farm like yours, I would never leave. See, you see, <laughs> honey, you see. Is there a wheat yield contest? You could irrigate wheat. Could you irrigate uh, wheat? So could you irrigate wheat? Yes, but here's the thing. Wheat is using all of its moisture, the vast majority of it, um, in the spring through the first or second week of June, right? Before it starts to mature. Typically that's when we get most of our rain. So uh, it would take a lot of work to get set up to maybe run the irrigation over a wheat field once, maybe twice if it was a super dry spring. And the thing about wheat is you risk laying it over and making it go flat if it um, if your water is too hard. So we'd have to change the nozzle and our gun um, run it to a much higher pressure so that it breaks the water stream up and is more gentle as it hits the crop. You kind of got the same thing to worry about with beans sometimes. Um, wheat is highly unlikely that we would ever do that, at least with the hard hose traveler. If we had a pivot and we had it in a wheat field, yeah, I'd probably turn it on. Um, but the way we're set up, that's not going to happen. So uh, as far as a wheat yield contest, I, I I don't know of a national wheat growers contest. In one quarter mile, make a slight right turn onto US 33 to... Directions, um, but anyway, I have seen some maybe state contests or there are some wheat contests. There's also some bean stuff, um, but make a slight right not, turn onto US. Not uh, like the corn growers do. Um, in one quarter, you two could run off to Vegas for the weekend. No thanks. Yeah, we're not Vegas people. Maybe just once to see it. Uh, hello from Kansas City, Missouri. Safe travels. Hello from Blissfield. Tim told me he is buying all his seed from you next year. Who wrote that comment? Rambler. Okay. I don't know who that is, but good. I hope he does. Me too. Leonard. I've been working on Tim pretty hard for a number of years, so. Tim who? Tim. I can't say. Not all right. Tell everybody. Leonard AG's main farm. Yeah. That's, that's the potato guys. Okay just north of Toledo. You need a fence. I'm assuming this person needs fence. Fent. Fench? F-E-N-C-H. A fence? Fence around our lawn? Fence. Oh, a fence around our lawn. Yeah. To keep the UPS driver out from driving through oh my, my yard. Oh my gosh. It's ridiculous. How was the crop that was planted in the land that sold this spring? Do you wish now that you would have purchased it? Nine thousand dollars per acre sounds cheap. Yes, yeah, so there was a couple of farms that sold last spring. Um, I assume they did fine. The one farm that sold for like sixty-seven hundred. Looking back, yeah, maybe. But the problem was that it was only like two-thirds tillable and not a, on a. Um, tillable per acre basis it was really expensive and um, yeah I, no I don't I don't have any regrets about not buying anything that, that we're looking at none of those fields that have been for sale have been something that was super close super desirable you know right next to what we farming or what we have already that it's like I really really want that piece it was like oh it's for sale if, you know if it's reasonable I'll buy it kind of thing and none of them have, have I felt like have been reasonable so Katie says, hi, is Parker watching? Hi, Katie. Hi. Hi, Cal. Either also Uncle Scotty. on their way or already at the wedding that we are going to. Hopefully we'll see you. I'm <laughs> sure we will see them. They're not. Uh, anyway. Will there be any John Deere X9 showing up in your neighborhood next year? Well, there is already one in the neighborhood. It has been for the last two years here. As far as any no, no, another one, any other ones, I... Not that I'm a wolf, but you never know. Does your dad have any field work planned this winter? Um, field work, no, but he's got some fence rows and some trees and stuff that he's cutting and cleaning up. And he's It's been too muddy the last week, so that's why he's been working in the wood shop. He's hoping, it's supposed to freeze up this week, get real hard, so I think he's going to spend a lot of time in the backhoe and uh, cutting trees and doing that stuff. So Hopefully we'll get some smoke for Christmas. Maybe cold enough. Would I don't, you, is it vibrate? Can you tell? Is it wiggly? 
picture. I don't think so. Okay, good. While we're, the, my phone mount is shaking a little bit because we're on the highway driving faster. I'm sorry if it's wiggling. Would you try spring strip till or think fall strips are the best? For our soil, I feel like we have to do it in the fall. Um, I We don't dry out enough in the spring to be able to run a shank through the soil six, eight inches deep like I want to. If you are going to do spring strips, it's got to be a colder machine, and I don't think that's the effective way to do it. Um, so, I, I much would prefer doing it in the fall. A few nails in a 2 by 4 covered in dirt works really well, too, Nathan. All it takes is one flat, and they'll stop driving on the lawn. They'll probably sue me, then. You guys are talk, telling me to call them, make my fix my lawn, which, my lawn's not that great to begin with, so I'm not really that worried about it, but... Yeah, it's frustrating. Katie says they're still on their way down. Are the kids sleeping? I'm asking. Come on. Well, this is interesting. You have to make this interesting for me, too. <laughs> well, conversations with my sister through YouTube live stream doesn't seem like the way to do that. Well, <laughs> do you think I want to hear about all this farm stuff all the time? You volunteered. I didn't volunteer anything. You volunteered me. I asked if you would do it. You no, said you yes. said I already committed you to it. Well, that was yesterday. I asked you the day before. No, you didn't. Right. After you had already said it in your video. But I was trying to. Oh, okay. Uh, what's your next equipment upgrade? Next equipment upgrade. Well, we just bought a um, semi-truck, so that's a good one to have out of the way. Um, honestly, right now, there's nothing totally super pressing. So there's a few things that are on the wish list. Uh, what happens next? I don't know, or I'm not going to tell you yet. Um, but things like a new a sprayer, a haggy that we could spray to acid corn would be really nice. Uh, corn planter's been on the list for a while. For that matter, our bean planter is older than our corn planter and could stand to be upgraded. Um, I would love to have another tracked tractor. Super pressing? No. Things that we would consider doing? Yeah. So I, I don't know um, the, the idea of replacing our corn head because we didn't do that when we bought the combine a year ago has been thrown out there. Uh, none of those things are, yeah, I don't know, we'll see. So part of what I look at when we're uh, thinking about equipment upgrades is how can I be more efficient with my time? And so what either, either helps us save money by doing something that we haven't been able to do, which brings me back to, to another point of potentially a dry fertilizer spreader applicator. We've talked about that, which strip till could be part of that equation or it could be a, a, a box spreader or something. Um, so, you know, that a fertilizer spreader would save us money because we're paying somebody to do that now. We can buy our fertilizer cheaper than we're buying it now. Um, or something that's going to save me time that would help us get jobs done faster because over the next 10 to 15 years until my boys are more ready to help or able to help, labor is going to be a bigger and bigger issue. And so how do I personally do more without being able to add more hours to a day? Your dad can come drive a tractor for me. I'm, I'm cool with that. But. He would probably love it. Anyway, so I'm, I'm not going to make any big announcements here, but um, there'll be some stuff coming and I think it's going to make next year super exciting. Picture is great. Hot day. Yep. He got them put together, but he's making some, the actual, he's got the frames, he's making the actual shelves, and he's making them out of leftover hardwood flooring from our uh, floor in our house. So, need to need that. I know, I know. <laughs> That's kind of what I told him, like, I'm going to make them out of two by fours. Like, oh, no, you're not. Okay. And so, uh, yeah, you know, they got to get stained, and yeah, but, but they're not up yet. Do you know that because of the grand solar minimum, the only crops we'll be growing in 10 years' time is cabbage? Sure. Okay. Just a little shake. It is not a Chevy. Must be a Chevy. It's not a Chevy. My 2021 2500 would break the camera. Any word on sponsorships? Come on, Golden High Harvest. Yeah. No, not for the YouTube stuff. I did have a company reach out to me, and I kind of, well, an ad agency for a company that I, I don't work with currently, but wasn't opposed to, but I waited like three days to respond to them, and 
they must have moved on because after that they never got back to me again so no big deal here's the thing somebody i was talking to somebody about ads and sponsorships and stuff because like, i have not done hardly any you guys know that uh i i i've had some opportunities i've turned down one thing is i'm unwilling to do an ad for a product or something that is not pertinent or pertain to my information in my channel and i'm not willing to do an ad for something that uh, that? isn't a product or something that i would support and use and, and do and so i'm very very selective and uh somebody else that does youtube videos one time told me he's like just remember you don't want to do their ad they want you to do the ad for them and they have to make it worth your while so if you ever see me doing an ad just know i'm getting paid real well to do it <laughs> Just widen your driveway there. Our driveway is It's not wide. narrow. Yeah. Next summer, I'm hoping to get some concrete board. That'll help. And the grass established better. That will also help. Did you try the ceramic detailer on your windows? It works great. You can just wipe them off with the cloth. Lasts all year during harvest. I did not on the combine. Uh, and I have not tried that stuff, that turtle wax stuff that I used. But the first time I used some uh, ceramic coating, I put that Armor Shield 9, which is a high quality one, I think. A little bottle that you wipe on and yeah um, I put that on the uh, 8R and I did the front windshield and I did a streak on the side window the door and uh, it looked beautiful the water beat it up on it really nice and washed off super nice but as soon as I took it in the field and I got into dusty environment the dust stuck to them strips in that windshield where I put the ceramic coating but not the other part of the glass and so that kind of like I don't put the ceramic on the glass because of that. It makes it sticky. Uh, and not that you can feel it, but the dust sticks to it much, much more than where I don't have it. Katie says Cal's sleeping. Parker's counting all the tractors. Good job, Parker. How many tractors have you found, Parker? Is your storage full? If you plan on more acreage, would you have to expand your storage? Grain storage, I assume. Our grain bins we're basically full. The only one that wasn't full was the wet bin because we finished drying that corn out and we did not take the time to refill it. Um, could have been done, we did not. Prices have been really good this fall. I've actually gone down a little bit since harvest, so we kind of moved a lot of grain in season, uh, more than what we normally do, but the other bins were full, uh, but we still had to haul quite a bit during, during harvest. Could we use more storage? I suppose, but keep in mind that um, we still have to pay our bills i know i know some farmers out there that you know they store their grain for two or three years i don't know we have to pay bills and the way we do that is by selling grain in the vast majority of our bills are due between september and the first of the year like i would say 80 percent of the money that we spend is between september and december and so selling some grain in the, in the fall helps that cash flow, especially with high interest rates where we would have to borrow that money otherwise. So um, it's not a bad thing to, be able to have to sell grain in season. It's not, it's not bad. And we can contract and forward market stuff with fall delivery um, with that in mind. So no, we don't need to upgrade our storage. We've done a lot of that over the last 10 years. We're in a pretty good spot right now where we have no need or desire to uh, build another grain bin, dryers, anything like that. We're, we're set up pretty well. <coughs> Stay with the 40 foot 15 inch bean planter or go with 60 foot 20 inch to get it done faster? Yeah, uh, good question. <sighs> Planting beans faster would be a huge advantage. I don't know what the best way to do that is. We've talked about 20 inch rows problem with 20 inch rows is they don't match up with 30 inch rows near as well as the 15s do uh you know going into the old corn stalk rows but we don't note till very many beans so that's not a huge concern um uh, oh damn we should have stopped about fuel oh, i tried to get you to earlier. i was going to when we stopped to eat and i forgot um so i don't know and a 60-foot planter and a bean side of stuff, I mean, they're not cheap either. Those are really expensive. Um, so I, probably we stick with a 40-foot. You know, there's the high-speed option, but is that really necessary in beans? Eh, I don't know. Those are expensive too. So I, I don't have a good answer for that right now. 
and I don't plant the beans, so I don't feel like it's my spot to make those equipment decisions, at least unilaterally. I agree that's a, that's a group decision more so. Text messaging instead of reading questions. Yeah. <laughs> um, could you do a field or two of air seeded beans to show the difference in yield versus row crop beans? Uh, I mean, we could, but there's a logistics problem there of getting it done. So I somehow doubt that would happen. I planted my double crop beans with the air seeder last year, 21. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with planting with the air seeder, but our our planter units do a better job and uh, like them better. So one thing that might happen, and I, I don't know this yet, but it is conceivable where uh, this spring, we're not going to have any corn down at our Berkey farm next year because we planted all that wheat there this year. The rest of it is going to go to beans. And so when we planted wheat, we left the air seeder there. <laughs> I could see a scenario where instead of taking the big planter down to plant the beans, we just take the tractor with the disc and then use the air seeder, just switch back and forth there. That's possible. It's possible we'll plant the beans at Berkey with the air seeder. I'm not going to commit to that, but it's possible. What's the, I'm assuming they mean deal with Phil, we never see him. Uh, Phil doesn't want to be on camera or we've never really addressed it. I, I, it's not my place to put people on YouTube that don't want to be on YouTube. So I, sorry, that's just the way it is. I'm not going to push it. Dad does a decent job. My Uncle Jack, when he's around, he doesn't seem to mind too much. But um, I don't, it can be off. I don't push it in front of Phil. What's the most number of people you have had working on the farm at one time? Like employed? I mean, outside of myself, my dad, and Phil, we've only ever had part-time people and one at a time. Now my Uncle Jack will drive tractor for us or whatever. I remember one time when I was... Was it Danny full-time? Yeah, Danny was full-time. I guess we kind of had some full-time guys a little bit, but... Um, anyway, uh, I remember one time when I was yeah, high school age, maybe, maybe college, I don't remember exactly. Um, there was one day we had seven pieces of equipment moving, Jeez. which that was impressive. It was in the spring. Uh, we were planting corn. It was before I was doing the corn, so it had to be pre-2011. Uh, we were planting corn. We were planting beans with – Phil was using the big planter, I think, or maybe the double drills at the time. I had – we still had a 15-foot uh, drill. I was using that. <coughs> I'm sure that Jack was running tillage equipment. We had my other uncle Ron running a tillage equipment with tractor. Uh, we had two other ones. I don't maybe it was before Dan died. My uncle Dan and he was running something, and, uh, and I think the guy that was working for us was running something. I mean, and maybe Dan was spraying. I don't know. But we had a lot of stuff moving at one time there. Did you have to on a necessity? Ron did it or what? Uh, I think it was getting late, but conditions were good, so we were getting things, you know, it was just, everything worked well that day. It absolutely drives me crazy with all the ads on some channels Simply Safe is having the video. Yeah, well, if you knew what Simply Safe was paying them, you'd, you'd be like, alright, do the ad. I mean, you can fast forward through it. You can. Is Nathan temperamental at home? Some days. Yeah, it's yeah, Some days. Was this the last year for the land in Berkey that was being subdivided? What did the land end up doing? Well, we've got wheat planted there right now, so no. We're going to harvest a crop next year. Uh, as far as, as how long, I have no idea. I know that the one lot has been sold, and there's actually a house there, and they're building, so we've lost a little bit out of that one. Uh, I have heard that another lot got sold, but I haven't. nobody's said anything about it really yet. Just because they sell doesn't mean that somebody's going to build immediately. It might be a few years. So, honestly, that's our worst farm at Berkey. It's the one we've been farming for the shortest amount of time, although it's been 20 years now. Uh, it's not the end of the world to lose that one. And last I saw, seven, seven and a quarter acre lots, long, skinny, seven and a quarter acre lots were going for 120,000. <coughs> Would it be viable to get a 60-foot planter around the 
small roads. Small roads? Yeah, our roads aren't that small. We'd be fine. There's a lot of 24 row planters around the area. That's not. The biggest issue would be small fields, electric poles out in the fields, some driveways and approaches that would be a little difficult to get in and out of, especially, especially if I was pulling a tank behind it or something like that. But it's all manageable. What is the worst combine you've ran? Worst combine I've ran? Well, um, I really started running combine. We had our 9550 was probably the first one that I ran a lot. I did run the 9500 or 9510, I guess, very little. But the 9550, um, so for before we bought our S680, we actually had two combines. We had a 9550 deer and a 96. 660 and those two combines were night and day different the 9550 was a dog it just couldn't get anything done it seemed like it was slow and it was just unproductive um, it was a walker machine it was not a rotor so i would say that one was the worst but it was the oldest the smallest and you know i wouldn't say that there was a ton wrong with it it just was nothing compared to what we have now Uncle Jack getting ready to get going on your farm. Ah, uh, maybe some. I'm hoping. So we are far enough ahead with the tractors right now, or the, the equipment maintenance. The combine's out of the shop. 16th of December. That's crazy. So I'm hoping we can get a tractor or two done by the first of the year and have all of the tractors through the shop by the end of January. That would put me way ahead of schedule on the winter maintenance stuff. That should give me a couple of weeks to work on that tractor. I've got a plan. My biggest issue right now is that the head, especially the cylinder head uh, where the valve sit, is really rusty and corroded, and I don't know what to do about that. So uh, next time Jack's up, I'm going to ask him what I should do there. The, the rest of the block, just putting new sleeves in, should solve everything. That's not a big deal. Um, but the head and the valve seats have got to be cleaned up substantially, and I don't, I don't, I don't know if it's salvageable or not, to be honest. Any new upgrades this coming 2023? We already talked about that. But yeah, we did talk about it a little bit. Um, uh, there's a few different things on the wish list. Nothing that's super critical. Um, and I'm not giving anything away, but you're going to see some cool stuff this summer. Someone said you are a smart man for putting a ring on my finger before somebody else did. <laughs> yeah. We got no, married she said late. No. Nobody else wanted to there marry was, me. There was plenty of opportunity for somebody to get there before me, but didn't happen. Some days I wonder why you married me. Let's she, be real. She took what she could get. <laughs> you're not that bad. <laughs> well, you're kind, Dominic. Let's say that. Al is asking, what are the chances, Buckeyes' chances against Georgia? They got a chance. Uh, we'll see. I'm not. It What's just depends. Spread? Six and a half and open it. I don't That's know where it, it is now. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, hopefully they're good. Uh, I don't think it'll be a Clemson-style blowout. Either way, with Ohio State blowing them out or Clemson blowing Ohio State out when that happened. Um, so I, 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 I'm, I think they got a chance. Everybody wants to get down on Ohio State after the last game because they lost by quite a bit, but that was a one-score game in the fourth quarter. They got out of hand when they were selling out to, you know, try. And so, eh, I don't think it's as I don't, I, I don't think they're as bad as people think they are right now. Depends on the day. Depends on the day for Ohio State? I don't know. I don't know either. Okay, hello from West Virginia. Hello. Somebody's saying I'm a trooper because this isn't as interesting to me as it is to you. You know, I hear all this stuff. This is like the fourth or fifth time I'm hearing a lot of this information. So, I already knew a lot of this stuff. That's good. Maybe you should answer these questions. Uh, that would not. Harvest Profit Software. <coughs> Curious to your thoughts on management software such as that. I feel like I've heard of that, but I couldn't tell you anything about it, so I'm not the person to give you any anything there. What year did you guys quit raising bonds? 92. 
92, 94. Oh, it's been a long time ago. I mean, we had 4 H pigs after that, but commercially it was yeah, early 90s. After living in the house for a while, is there any changes you would make if you did it again? Minor, but yes. Light switches. And, um, Light switches? I need dimmer switches on lights that I cannot put dimmer switches in. It drives me crazy. Can't you just cut another hole there? Um, the door for the bathroom in uh, Morelli's room, we have a, we have a, she's got her own bathroom and stuff in there. We made the door open in, but when it, when the door opens into the bathroom, it blocks the door to the closet. So you have to go in, close the door, and then you can go in the closet. I should have made that door swing out into the bedroom instead of into the bathroom. That was my biggest mistake. There's so many decisions that you have to make and I think by the time we got there we were just like whatever. I just totally missed didn't it. Didn't really think about it totally and it. it's okay. We could change it. So we'll get there. She doesn't really use that bathroom much. For a bath. She does not at all. She <laughs> is seven and months old. We don't really use her closet Today, much either. Today. Oh um, yeah. She is. We should take her picture. Interesting to know, he says, as long as somebody beats a school from Ann Arbor. Right. They held that comment for review. Oh. Real approve nice it. YouTube. I did. Like it. Pin it. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was torn there for a minute. I was like, I wonder if I want them to win so that Ohio State gets a chance to actually beat them. And then I thought, no. No, because. No, I'd rather they just lose, because if they win the first game and Ohio State gets that chance, that means that they also have a chance at winning a national championship. We don't want that, so let's just let's just make them lose. All right, we're going we're gonna to get off here. For engine machine work, maybe these guys. Jameson line featured? I don't know. For my Farmall? Engine, yes, I think. Yeah, there's got to be somewhere around here that I could take it that they would fix me up. But. Did you wash and wax the top of the combine cam? We washed it. We did not wax it. I'm sure Nathan made a great deal for Maddie to do the live stream. He probably agreed to... Go to a wedding. For lunch. Hopefully it was a great lunch. You know, I didn't even make him make me a deal, but good idea for next time. I took her to Texas Roadhouse. I said you could. You said I could? I, I suggested it. You did not. Exactly. Because I, I knew you, you liked it. So, thanks. I gave her exactly what she asked for. <laughs> what more could she well, want? I really wanted Jimmy John's, but and we I were said we can, go get there. That. we can get that tomorrow. So, uh, we got to buy gas. So, I'm finding a gas station. There's got to be one here. Do you want me to do it so you can keep talking? No, I was going to get out and do it while you have to keep talking. Well, I have nothing to say. <laughs> Start asking Maddie questions so no, she has something please, to say. No, I don't know what to say. Well, I pump gas. If the egg business became unprofitable, what other career interests you? The egg business, the whole entire industry? That's, um, oof. I don't know. I mean, I would be good at a lot of different things, I feel like. Oh, no, that's not a gas station. <laughs> don't toot your own horn or anything. <laughs> Whatever. Maybe construction? Really? Uh, heavy equipment operation. Miller Brothers. Yeah. The typical food debate, as always, between couples. We didn't do too bad. We no. did pretty well deciding on where to eat. He doesn't like a lot of the things that I do, but he's not a very adventurous eater. I say he only eats like 24 different foods. Four. I should count them up. It's not much. Sorry? Y'all probably know what I like eats. what I like. His vegetable food group consists of lettuce, corn, and potatoes. This is a problem. Why? Especially for my kids. They need to eat vegetables. I don't. A new head. I am. Do you have your Christmas shopping done? I do. You do? That's shocking. It doesn't normally happen until like the day before, but I did all the Christmas shopping. Well, you so did. did you buy some? Did you buy something for me? I don't know. You did. Besides your gas tank on. Your side. Thankfully. 
I hated that about my other car was on the passenger side. It was a Ford, so. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, huh. Are there any? She wanted me to buy gas before we left because it was in the 280s. It's 273 here. See, this is shocking how cheap gas is right now. I knew it would be get cheaper farther south than that. Okay. Are there any jobs? Entertain on the, them. Um, yeah, I'll try. Any jobs on the farm you would be interested in learning? Asking me. Mm, I would do the business side of it because, and I actually like analysis. So I could analyze if Nathan would show me how, uh, for how to get the data and pull it, what fertilizer and stuff like that would be good. So I could do like some prescription maybe. He'd probably laugh. He's going to have to go back and watch this. But I could do that kind of stuff and I think I would enjoy it. He had me drive the green car one time, just a little bit. I was in the tractor with him. Yeah, not really for me. Like him, I don't like doing repetitive tasks either. So it gets boring. And I don't know what all those beeps and stuff was. And yeah, um, I stick to what I like when it comes to food. So does he. He will not try anything new. It's terrible. I mean, he won't even, he eats his mom's chocolate chip cookies and he'll make his own, but he didn't even try one of my mom's and they're very, very good. Um, do we go to any baseball or football games for fun? So, what are we talking about? Like, you're gonna have to go back and watch it. Oh boy. <laughs> um, we do like to go to football games, but we haven't really gone to many since having children. Baseball, if we we haven't been to a professional baseball game, have we nope. together? I don't think so. I'm only just ever like one. mud hens farm teams oh well i'll ask you and see what you said say answering this question since somebody asked me any jobs on the farm i would be interested in learning that she would be interested in learning yeah. there are jobs she could do interested in learning other than the book work stuff probably not too much oh, interesting what did you say go back and watch it okay what has changed about Nathan when compared to when you first started dating? I would say... Okay, I take it back. Stop asking her questions. <laughs> Not much, <laughs> other than he probably liked me more than... <laughs> <laughs> there was once a Dutch country-style all-you-can-eat buffet just north of Columbus. Don't remember the name. Oh, I don't know if I'd like that. I mean, it would be okay. I could eat it, but... Oh, I know what you're talking about. The Dirt Dutchman, Plain City. I've been there. It's West Four seventy-five for regular gas in Western Washington. Ouch. This is not an anniversary date. No, that one's coming up Ooh. in a few weeks. With Nathan gone, can I tell a funny story about him? I'm gonna have to think about I'll that. I'll get out again if you want. I'm I don't uh... know any funny stories about him. It's because I don't do anything do embarrassing. Sure you do. <laughs> No, not really. He's not very interesting. 260 for gas in Georgia. We gotta fix this. Uh, any okay. livestock on the farm while Nathan was growing up? We had pigs until I was six or eight. A new Haggy sprayer. Which soccer national team is going to? To win the World Cup, France or Argentina? Gosh, is the United I don't States even still know. in it? Yep, they were playing Iran, but. The US was? Yeah. Is that who beat us? That's embarrassing. <laughs> oh my god. Nobody goodness. here cares about soccer at all. Oh, and it that's is soccer. not true. It's boring. It's. I don't understand how somebody can watch something for two hours and only have zero points scored. Like, Holy crap, that's boring. I heard that early rounds of the tournament, at least, there was more 0-0 zero, zero ties than in a long time or something. I, I just, enjoy soccer. Oh, it's, do you guys the know what they can do to make soccer, soccer better? soccer. Oh, jeez. Right? So my go. kids played soccer this fall, and I was it's fun not a huge fan of it. However, Brayson, my four-year-old, right, they play soccer the way you should play soccer. Okay, <laughs> The field is the size of a volleyball court. 
the uh, they have no goalies, and it's was it three on three? It's three on three, maybe four, four on four. I four think it was supposed four. to be five, but they reduced it to four. Whatever. No goalies, tiny court. I swear they they don't keep score. There was one game, Brayson's team won like fifty three to four. No. It was fantastic. No, it was. It was awesome. <laughs> four ten minute quarters. Wholesale line changes every five minutes. Totally different group of kids. They had 50 goals in a game. It was awesome. What is your worst mistake on the farm you've made? Okay, well, he'll have to come back and answer that. What year did we meet? We met in 2013. So getting close to 10 years. Craziness. Uh, 249 in Texas. Oh, goodness. A great farm tire changer could learn a lot from my dad. Yeah, you know, he never taught me anything about cars growing up, and maybe he should have, but yeah. You inspired me to try to clean up my S7. Well, that's nice. Okay. Well, people are asking more questions. They asked when we met. What's the worst mistake you on the farm that you've made? The worst Obey traffic laws, be alert, and use voice commands while driving. Obey the traffic laws, people. I don't like to listen to people that navigation talk. Ugh. Yeah, well, we gotta get to where we're going, and I'm using my phone for live streaming. So, worst mistake I've ever made on the farm. I mean, I've made some dumb mistakes with some equipment as far as uh, getting stuck, where I was just like, what, what are you doing? Why would you drive there, you idiot? Um, I'd have to think about it for a while to know the worst mistake I've ever made, um, as far as expensive. But that's a good question. Try not to do too many of them. Just all your aunts and uncles are commenting. They're all watching. Oh yeah. <laughs> Maybe they can tell some interesting stories. I'm sure, of Ron you. can. Ron, why Ron? I don't know. I'll ask Ron tonight and update you. Or somebody, Dad. Dad will probably tell you. Oh yeah, I bet he's got some good ones. I can just hear him laughing now. One time I. Um, Right after we had got our 9300 articu first articulated tractor we ever had, and we bought a new chisel plow, 15 shank sunflower, which was much wider than the nine shanks that I had ever run before that. And the tractor steered different stuff, and it was brand new. Hadn't even gone to the field yet. I pulled up to our fuel tanks, fuel up the tractor, and then as I pulled away, the chisel plow stuck out past the tires on the tractor, and I didn't realize it, and I caught the uh, wooden post rail that was in front of the fuel tanks and I broke that all up so that was a mistake. I don't remember if I said this is not an anniversary date but it is not. I do know one funny story about Nathan that I've heard a couple times when he was a little kid. Uh -oh. His dad built a fence to keep him in playing outside and he literally reached up to the fence, opened it and got out and I think he was like two. Something like that. Yeah, dad built a... I'm not a good uh, storyteller. But... Dad, dad built a... a fence around the house or the play yard there with a um, lattice type fence and a, a gate on it, swinging gate, the latch on the top on the outside and apparently I climbed the gate, opened the <laughs> latch, rode it out as it swung out so I could get out. Which is something our kids would do so they yeah. get that from you. Did I ask if you already booked your diesel fuel for next year yet? Uh, booked it? No. We don't, we're not in the uh, book ahead yeah, I know we've never done that, played the futures market or anything. Um, we did get a load in right at the end of harvest here, so we have enough fuel in the tank to get us through the spring, or at least pretty darn close to it. So we'll need some for the summer and the fall, but um, we're sitting on quite a bit of fuel right now and in pretty good shape. Um, how old do the kids have to be before they can drive tractors on their own? So there's no, there's no rule to that. There's no law. I mean, there probably is, but there's no law that anybody follows. Um, so it kind of depends on the kid and your trust and confidence and their ability to handle it, right? And um, I don't know. It'll probably be different for our children, for all of them. It'll probably be 
autonomous and they'll never get to drive a tractor. Could be that. Um, they can you know, sit at home and with their families, spending time with them while the tractor is just going up and down in the field. Yeah. Ryland, Ryland has more interest in it than Brayson at this point, but he's a year older, so he should. Uh, and yeah, it's kind of always been like that. Yeah, but, but Brayson likes it too, just yeah. Ryland's got more of an interest. Uh, and he does pretty well when I put him on my lap or even just put him in the seat and let him go. He gets really excited when Grandpa lets him do stuff by himself, uh, driving the backhoe, gator, that kind of stuff. So he's going to pick it up fast. You know, in two or three years, when he's eight, nine years old, would I let him go all day by himself? No. Would I let him make a round or two? Maybe. We'll see how he's doing at the time. But um, who knows? I don't remember exactly how old I was. I want to say I was probably closer to 12 before I was like, okay, go do this field kind of thing. By yourself? Yeah. I thought 10, but 12 is better. <laughs> uh, now I was, you know, but I was driving some before that, just not long hours or, you know, three, four or five hours by myself kind of thing. So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, somebody said, <laughs> this is funny, that I could make a great farm tire changer. I probably couldn't even look at farm tire. Farm tire changer. Yeah. I, why would you say that? Because I could learn from my dad. Do they know that? Did he you must have, yeah. That? So her dad owns a tire shop. Like, that's what he does. My grandpa did it, too. So, so yeah, but... He never taught me any of that stuff, like I said. So. Yeah. Uh, overall thoughts on the new house. Good things, not so good things. I like it. Yeah. I don't really know anything bad about it. I mean, I, I, it will be nice when we can get the basement finished and some landscaping in a driveway, but all in detail. We're getting there on that kind of stuff. Um, for the most part, I really, really like everything about it that we've done. There's a couple of things that bug me. Like, we've we've got a tankless uh, hot water heater. It's really nice from a hot water standpoint for heating and, and hot water supply, but it vibrates and it's mounted to the concrete wall right underneath my kids' bathroom, which is close to their bedrooms. And that whole side of the house, you can hear the thing vibrating. And I don't know if it's vibrating the concrete wall and that's transferring up Can through the floor joist or if it's the pipes that are attached to the floor joist, the eye joist above it or what. I don't know. It drives me absolutely crazy. It drives Ryland crazy too. I know. It. You gotta like, can you wrap it or something? Well, they are, but so I, I was going to try and put some insulation in the floor at some point when we get to finish in the basement. We'll see if that helps. I don't know if it will or not, but so that. I was, and I was looking at it the other day, like, I wonder if I could put it on some rubber mounts or something. That would be pretty difficult to do. Um, yeah. So. I wish we would put a little more uh, sound insulation in places. We can't do anything about that. Okay, well, you are loud when I'm trying to sleep. All right, anyway. You inspired me to try to clean up my S760 the way you clean your combine up. Thanks. Good. Good work. Your mom said this is a Baker wedding. They are the best weddings. Well, I think ours was the best out of all of them. Ours was a Baker wedding. And it was a lot of fun. It was. So, try and top ours. They will not. <laughs> What's my job? I am an accountant. With that. You don't that think I'm going I, no, I would go with that, but she does not have an accounting degree. I don't, but I have my MBA. Yes. I like accounting. I did marketing, did not like that. Uh, parents keep score of the game. No. Yes, they do. You're not supposed to. I don't. Dads keep score of the game. Okay, whatever. Nobody wants to tell any embarrassing stories of you. Bummer. Spraying the beans with the wrong chemical. Oh, yeah. I didn't do that. But that was pretty embarrassing. That was a big mistake. What's the worst breakdown you've had? And I can't remember if I've asked this. Have you had any other equipment fires other than the green dryer fire? The uh, auger? Auger? No, the auger was that. Katie, your wedding was not the best. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe it was because I was pregnant, so I couldn't have as much fun. It probably would have been more fun if I wasn't pregnant. 
Um, biggest equipment breakdowns? Yeah, that auger on the combine. I mean, that was the biggest one this fall, but that's that was a this minor. fall. A few falls ago. Oh, on the old combine. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that was a big one. It's been a long time since we've had huge major stuff. Back when I was a kid, we had a couple old case trackers that had uh, engine major engine problems, total failures. I don't remember what exactly. I was too young to know, but um, I remember a case engine block sitting in the floor of our old shop for a while. That was that was a bad deal. Oh, uh, what else? Any equipment fires. No equipment fires. On that 9550 combine one time, I had some stuff smoldering that we had to put out. We've never had anything with open flames in an actual fire. We've never lost anything to a fire or had it burn off. So we've been fairly fortunate. Call it lucky if you want, but I have <laughs> I feel like it is heavily attributed to our maintenance program. The fact that we do go through things so thoroughly to not only clean it, but look for things that are broken and that need attention and try and do it off season rather than in season so everyone else likes to point out your mistakes here so go for it yeah, uh, the ask. YouTube people that have put on YouTube like people that not, uh, not dumping opinion. seed corn on the road has to be yeah yeah that mistake. was a pretty good one wasn't it <laughs> uh hi uh, you both have fun today greetings from the Netherlands thank you do you have anybody giving you advice when to sell your crops? So the marketing side of stuff is something that I have not been super involved in and probably need to do more. Um, uh, Phil actually takes care of most of that because he handles all of the grain hauling and management side of stuff. I believe that, you know, outside of just the grain buyers that we work with for the different elevators that we sell grain to, um, he's got some, we've got some newsletters are kind of things that we subscribe to that help but no actual marketing service although i did have somebody call me the other day looking to be our marketing service but i have no interest in that so oh maybe i could do that you want to be their marketing well you call it marketing but it's not really marketing. not marketing is advertising it's, yeah. it's grain marketing is it knowing when to I sell i could figure that out too then I would feel terrible if I didn't do it very right, well. Right, that's the problem, right? And that's why I refuse to hire somebody or a service or something because I'm always going to be like, I could have done better than that. I'll well, always question Do it yourself there. Exactly. Really. That's what we do. Okay. He does not do any hunting. Thank nope. goodness. Uh -huh. I didn't date someone one time because they hunted and I just couldn't, couldn't do it. Yeah. All right. Take you with them or what? No, but I'm not going to have deer hanging on the wall in my house or in the garage. And I don't want to see dead animals laying around and oh, no. Okay. Somebody else. Hi from Norway. Started raking hay at five with a John Deere B. Nice. Old school. Somebody here has their own automotive tire machine. Yeah. I secretly in the back of my mind when her dad retires and he sells a shop, I want his tire machine. Wait, you can buy it from him. I will buy it from him. Okay. Uh, make sure you like the live stream, everyone. Hello. Hi from the UK. What's the seed corn on the road story? Oh, man. Go back. <laughs> You'll have to go back. <laughs> I don't remember the video number, but it was in the spring. Is that first or second year I was making videos? I had uh, emptied out the corn planter and then reloaded the bulk tanks and I didn't get one or two of the doors latched tight underneath. And it was fine until I started bouncing down the road and then the door came open and it was just streaming out onto the road. Oh, that was a bad deal. Bad, bad deal. I lost a lot of corn. A couple of units worth of corn. That was a, that was a $500 to $1,000 mistake there. Um... With GPS and long rows and no internet entertainment, how do you stay focused on what you're doing? I mean, I have it's internet, boring. I have a phone, but... Yeah, he watches other people's farm videos and listens to inappropriate podcasts and... Inappropriate podcasts? Off the husk. I hear you laughing 
about that and when I've heard it before. Oh, Fosk is hilarious. But they haven't posted oh my one in goodness. a long time. What were you listening to today that you were laughing at? Mike Rowe. Mm -hmm. The, uh, what's it called? Podcast. I don't remember. We're podcasters. Speaking of. Like listening to podcasts. I, I like, I like Mike Rowe's podcast. And, uh, today I was listening to the episode where he had Sean Palm Reinke on of Bering Sea Gold. And he was talking about being, you know, they, they, they dredge gold off the ocean floor, right? Dive under the ice and do all this stuff. And he was talking about how it's just peaceful and you're just kind of there by yourself and you get to get away from everybody and stuff. Much like being in a tractor cab for 12, 15 hours a day. It's great. So then you should like to hang out with us when you come home. Ugh, people. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're terrible. What's dad's role in the operation now? My dad's role? I'm assuming. He's part owner, primary operator. He's He is the operation. I mean, he doesn't do everything that he used to, but he still works more than I do. You guys think I work a lot? <laughs> yeah, that's true. I, my dad works more than I do, by a long shot. He does. He probably thinks Nathan is lazy because he doesn't you know work why? as much as okay, he does. So but he has unrealistic expectations. My dad's offered. probably watching this right now along with the rest of my family, so I shouldn't say anything. But, so the other day I made a comment about me being lazy and some of you guys were like, how can you think you're lazy? Do you know why? It's because it's been ingrained into my head since I was a kid that I was lazy. Like. Yeah, except you worked 16 hour <laughs> days for six weeks straight during harvest. I know. And it was rough for all of us. I know. Okay. Sampling some golden harvest seed in 23. Hope the good seed luck. is as good as Nathan makes it out. To Where me. are you from and what hybrids or varieties are you planting? What's your soil type? Ah, uh, well, yeah, but. I like Growing in Corn 2020 podcast, lol. I've been listening to um, the Farm for Profit guys a little bit. Mostly they're Farm for Fun ones. Uh oh, which lane am I supposed to be in? See, this is what happens when you don't have Oh, the... you need to get over. Yeah, well. Okay, turn, put on your turn signal. Oh, I'm trying. Backseat driver much? Sampling some... Oh, okay, sorry. Whoops. If you had to choose one seed company other than Golden Harvest to sell for, who would it be? To sell for? Oh, man. Ugh. I've thought about this a lot, trying to figure out what other company I would want to go to. Don't ask me why, but... I don't know. Um, there are positives and negatives about every seed company out there. Obviously, DeKalb and Pioneer are your two biggest market share wise. They have great genetics. There's nothing wrong with them, but they come with a premium price point, which a lot of my customers, that would be an issue. Um, the other thing is that that's a very saturated market to sell for those companies because they have so many dealers. Um, then, then on the DeKalb side, you know, they don't really have private or farmer dealers, kind of like I am. They run them through the channel side of stuff. There's another channel dealer, very local. I'm sure they have good products, too. I don't know their stuff as well. Uh, there's the AgriLiant side of stuff with AgriGold LG. There was a point in time when I thought one of those companies would be good to sell for, but they have fallen apart major in the last couple of years. A lot of people have left those companies, and half of them have come to Golden Harvest, and they're great employees, but AgriLiance in trouble. Um, you know, there's some smaller companies. There's the Bex of the world, but I just, I can't do Bex marketing. I get some people really like that, but man, I, and maybe it's because I'm a competitor, but I just, the whole giveaways and non-seed stuff that they're trying to tie together, I, that's not what I want in a company. I don't, I don't do business that way and stuff. And so I, I really like Golden Harvest. I like the people. I like the products. It would be very difficult for me to change and go to another company. It would be very difficult. Okay, I'm gonna skip ahead for a second just because I want to know where this person is from. It says, seems like everyone and their dog sells Golden Harvest around here and really? only co-ops sell the cow. So let us know where you're from, Jay Clark. Um, Learn so much about growing corn from your videos. Thanks for all your efforts you are putting into explaining the different stages. Better than boring IT. 
Growing Corn podcast is not kid-friendly, but funny and interesting to hear his views. Okay. Where do y'all get your hired help? Do you talk to FFA groups in your area? So we don't go through a ton of employees. Um, basically, everyone that I've worked for I've known from something outside of the farm, uh, or worked for us, I guess. Um, a buddy of mine from high school, actually a college roommate, worked for us for several years. Uh, he's the guy that does all the straw stuff now and hay and just kind of went out on his own so he doesn't do anything for us anymore. And then uh, from there, uh, another kid that went to high school with, actually was in my sister's class, he worked for us for a few years before... Katie's? Yeah, we kind of moved on from him. Uh, or just mutual, more mutual, or I guess... And then Brock, I actually coached Brock when he played basketball in seventh grade. He is a mean coach, by the way. I try being nice. And when they don't listen to you when you're nice, you have to get in their face and yell. And then they listen, and it's like, oh my I don't want to yell at you, but you he don't listen to me when like I don't yell. Too. It is my mean. No. Listen. Oh, my Our goodness. kids are not very good listeners. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Jay Clark is from Central Illinois. So I haven't had trouble finding employees. That's what I was getting to. Central Illinois, all the Central gold, Illinois. gold okay. harvest dealers. Cool. Um, and the other guy is on the west side of Defiance, Ohio. Heavy, oh. hard, wet clay soil. Okay. 2.9 enlist soybeans. 29, 22s. They're a good bean. Uh, I'm pretty excited about the new 3.0, 3043 E3s, but I only saw them in my plot this year. So after I plant them this year uh, and, and get a better look at them, then I'll, I'll see if they do well. We'll push those pretty hard a year from now. I've been trending earlier and earlier on the bean side of stuff. The 2505s are excellent. The 2292s have been really good. So, yeah, there's a lot of good options in there. I'm looking for something to start replacing the 3132 and the 2922, but they've both been really good. Those are my top two selling beans this year and last year. So, we got a good one. Dad is CIC Commander in Chief. Why did CEO, you stop? President. He's the president numbering your videos hello from New Jersey. um i stopped numbering because one i kept forgetting what number i was on and i kept losing track and having to go back and fix them two i kind of wondered if it was holding me back a little bit and getting more subscribers and, and keeping things going because when you were browsing through and you found a new channel to watch and you realize they're on video number 800 you're like holy crap i'm so far behind i'll never catch up and so i wanted it to be more friendly to new people that were just joining in and jumping in yeah, come on, we gotta get to 25,000. Um, so that was a big part of it. Uh, I did throw an 850 in there. You guys didn't even comment on it. Nobody made mention of the fact that, you know, I stopped numbering at 800, I threw 850 in there. That's my plan is just every 50 or every significant number, I'll throw it on just to um, keep track of where we're at kind of thing. But uh, nobody even mentioned it. Nobody commented or anything. Oh, wives are always backseat drivers. I try not to be. I'm not too bad. She was fine. The problem is I turned the sound off on the navigation, so you guys weren't I was listening annoyed. to it. And look, you're going to need to get off here. I'm in the right lane now. And then I wasn't paying attention to the GPS, and I about missed it. Great to see you spending time with your lovely wife. Yeah, this is spending time together. Is that a sarcastic? It's kind not. Of. This doesn't count. Doesn't We're count. doing your YouTube. It's not like having good deep conversation What's that you don't time? like to have. I like good conversation. Yeah. All right. Have you thought about getting your own spreader? What are you saying yes. about me? Yes. We have thought about getting our own spreader. It is in the discussions right now, actually. But and spreading your own dry fertilizer. Yes. The biggest drawback to that is the time commitment that it takes to do it. Good grief, dude. You're getting behind, so you need to have like some shorter answers. It's fine. If we don't catch up, we don't okay, catch up. Okay, well, let's try. Um, when we need to get fertilizer spread, we are also harvesting soybeans. We are trying to plant wheat. We are hauling soybeans. We are doing tillage. There's so much going on that it's hard to get into. Um, it was video 143 when you dumped the seed corn on Thank the you. Road. Geez, really? That long ago? That was the first spring. Yeah, that's been a while. Someone's going to clean their house? Oh, that's good. Thanks for sharing with us about yourselves. Look out, Nathan, Farmer Bob is right behind you. Yeah, uh, it's yield contest. Oh, Farmer Bob, okay. Contest. Tuned in late, how much snow are y'all expecting before Christmas? I think Thursday we're supposed to get between one and three inches and I'm really hoping it happens. Oh, will we ever meet your other sisters? 
Maybe we could. I bet Seth would get on here. Katie would for sure. Katie could talk about some very interesting things. That's for sure. Yeah. We'll ask her and see if she'd be willing to be featured. Maybe over Christmas I'll get them on. Would you add more grain storage in Berkey? Probably not. The prospects for increasing acres in Berkey are very low. Uh, highly competitive ground plus the um, uh, oh developmental pressure. And so uh, it's that's unlikely that we would invest much more there. We spent a lot of money 10 years ago to increase our drying capacity and put up the big bin that we've got there and the leg and everything. So. Tina I Miller? I can see it happening, but unlikely. Is that my cousin, Tina Miller? Merry Christmas, big family. It must be. Wow, I get excited when I see people I know. Um, on here at least. Okay, random question. How high is your shop door and how high is the new shed overhead door? I think the shop one is 15 feet. The new shed is 16 feet. We're going to have to wrap this one up pretty soon because I'm getting to a city and I hate driving in cities. Yes. And talking and stuff is going to make this more difficult. Where does your wife work? I work at a Ford dealership. Local Ford dealer. Your, your mom, she works for Hillsdale. My, my mom works for a hospice. Yes. What is your view on regenerative egg as in what Gabe Brown does? Went to hear Tim Parton from UK speak last week. Massive success with reduced inputs. He brews biocompost in farm. Um, I'm sure that there's a lot of merit to it. I can't speak directly to any of those people. I don't know them. Um, <laughs> I, I think there has a lot of potential. The issue is scale. How do you scale it? Larson Farm started numbering their videos. They number the harvest videos. He'll stop pretty soon or it has already. And then, yeah, I know. But those are like a little mini harvest series kind of thing. Will you use any of the information on your beans this year that you learned from the farmer from Maryland? Uh, yeah, probably. 25K is one Brock stuck tractor away. Okay, Brock, <laughs> let's do it. Um, Congrats on your second place finish. Next Thank year, you. number one. We'll see. I'm supposed to get to like 10 below next week. But that must be that's in central Illinois. Ooh, Mike Kenyon worked for a Honda automotive dealership for 32 years. Merchandise. Can you make a shirt with a corn plant breakdown and also bean plant breakdown away? Like the video where you talk about different stages. Of the Maybe. Uh, Brian. Brian's got one that's similar to that. Brian's yeah, farming I came up with the idea, she and then did. Nathan says, I "Oh, I think that. I've seen that shirt before." And then I get on Farm Focus, and Brian has the shirt instead. I'm like, "Oh man, I'm a day late in that dollar shirt." Okay, let's see. I do need some good shirt ideas, though. Something more. Apparently, apparently, the way this Farm Focus thing works is we're developing an apparel line, not necessarily just branded content. It's a whole apparel line, so. I'm a fashion designer now as well. You can put that on my list as well. Oh my gosh, get over yourself. Are you going to take the back covers off the new semi truck? The wheel covers? Uh, I don't know what Phil wants to do with them. We might leave them on for a while, but they will probably come off if I had to guess. I would love to get some aluminum rims for the back of that, but aluminum rims are expensive too, so we'll see. YouTube um, censored the comment about if I work. Isn't that weird? Okay. Anyway, that's about all. So... Women are not at work. What? Yeah. Okay. He's so funny, can't you tell? Well, we got no more comments. No more comments? Oh, up. one. Finalize my golden harvest order for 23, going with G15J91. Nice. That's a good hybrid. 3023XF 3023s. Okay. Southeast Nebraska thoughts. Um, the 15J91 is excellent corn. You're a long ways from me, so I can't speak to how it works in your exact environment. It's too full season for us here, uh, but I know they like it south and into Illinois and across southern Ohio. Uh, the 3023XFs. I'd have to go back and look at my plot and see how they did. I've planted those. Um, I really like the 3195 XFs. They're super tall, impressive beans, so another one to look at. But 
Nice to Would see you. Would you guys that are all buying Golden Harvest because you're watching my videos, please let Golden Harvest, your Golden Harvest people know that so that they know that what I am doing is effective and working and that maybe they'll throw me a bone here. Nice. Or tell them you want to see me at a farm to a farm show. That'd be super awesome too. Nice to see you as a beautiful couple and relax after all the hard work during harvest, cleaning your stuff with us. It's just like here in Belgium. Enjoy you guys. That's nice. Love your videos. I don't think I was supposed to get off there. It said I was. Whatever happened to that pickup truck that would not start? Still doesn't start. Still does not start. That's a Chevy. The battery's dead now. Well, it's got 215,000 miles on it. Like, okay, well, expect? still. Rylan likes to talk about other people's Chevy. It's <laughs> kind of funny, but... Anyway, y'all have a Thanks good weekend. Thanks for watching, weekend. everybody. We will see I'll you... I'll get you some polka footage. She will not. We'll see you on Monday. <laughs> Bye. See ya.